Warning, this video contains content that some viewers may find disturbing, if only because there is a man speaking in it. All men have been cancelled by the US government, so watch at your own risk. If you are a returning viewer, I have just one question for you. Why? Hey, and welcome to my season one wrap up of my meme analysis series here on YouTube. For those of you who are new to this channel and don't know who I am, hi, I have been posting a video a week for the past 10 weeks on this channel. Uh, they were analysis videos on popular internet memes and this is kind of my like tell all or season wrap up of those past 10 videos. Because I've posted 10 videos here on this channel, I wanted to take this moment to look back at what that process was like, what I learned, just anything to reflect on, and hopefully it's entertaining. 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 Hopefully it's... And hopefully it's entertaining. Here's what I want to cover in this video. One, the stats, so like the numbers, the views, subscribers, all that stuff. Two, the challenges. And three, the future. Why am I doing this, you ask? We'll find out together. At the time of writing this video, I have been averaging around 3 to 20 views per video. I have around 40 subscribers, which actually came from a few earlier false starts on this channel, where I did gain some of these subscribers. Believe it or not, this channel didn't start this way, and I only recently decided to start posting official videos that I wouldn't delete so that I could really keep track of my growth as a creator. My Instagram has around six followers, and my most liked post, I think, has like seven likes or something. Big numbers, I know. And I think this is a good point to segue into how I feel about these numbers. Okay, so let's be real for a second here. Um, I think one of the things that I learned early on is that you're not gonna go viral with your first video, which... Wow, shocker, yeah, I know. I think this is something a lot of small or early creators can relate to. When you start working on your first video, you are putting so much time and effort and energy into it, and you think that once you hit that upload button or that post button, that all that hard work is gonna translate into immediate views, likes, engagement, all that. And it doesn't. Of course it doesn't, it's your first video, why would it? But I think it's important to <laughs> recognize that that is kind of like a feeling that early creators go through. I look at the numbers I have now and on the one hand, I am happy. I'm happy because I'm recognizing that my content is at least getting some views, I'm, I'm getting some traction. It's not insane numbers, but it's more than zero, which is one of the fears when you start out is like, is anyone even gonna watch this? And turns out, yeah people. On the other hand, I have to admit, be honest here, that the numbers can be a little bit discouraging. I think it's really hard as a creator to not equate your self-worth or the quality of your content to the number of likes and subscribers and all that stuff that you get. It's a battle. And I think it'll get better over time. I do. I do. And I think it'll get better over time. I do. So I had a lot of fun creating my meme analysis series, but I think I'm gonna bench it for now. 
Season 1 is wrapped up and I kind of want to move on to analyzing other things like songs or TV shows. Just anything that isn't memes because I did that already. This doesn't mean I'm not going to make a season 2 of my meme analysis series. It just means I'm not going to make it right now. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Not at all. I really want to be a content creator full time. That's really like this has been so much fun for me and it's just the beginning. So I'm going to keep making content until that happens. And lastly, thank you for watching this video, whoever you are.